today from Toronto, Canada. It's week 13 of the NFL on EA Sports. as we'll see Jordan Love and the Toronto Thunderbirds versus Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Toronto ball club as they interplay here. The streak continues, doesn't it? They come in here a perfect 11-0. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. If you just break it down in individual terms, he played really well last week. Zero interceptions, three touchdown passes. Not a whole lot more he could have done to win that game. But you know something that's funny when we talked to him, all he focused on were throws he missed, yeah. other opportunities that didn't get done. Good sign of a leader. Great sign of a leader because they didn't win, and that's all he cares about. Second down and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. Pass incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's third down. Hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. This is fielded at the 27. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. First down, going to the air with Love. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. To throw now. Here's Love. A throw taken in by Tylen Wallace. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Working out of the gun. Love. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second day. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. First down, love to pass. Eluding the pressure right. And this will be caught inside the 10. What a grab. Here we go now on first and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming out. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. His fifth rushing touchdown on the year, sixth overall. And the Thunderbirds have taken a first quarter lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. They're going to try and run. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. The numbers for Sanders lack. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Hurt sets up to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sanders. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 41 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. That swung out wide to Sanders. And out of bounds right around the 20. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on 
third and long. They'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. If you rank one from the bottom in statistics, that's usually not good in this league. And this team, one from the bottom in sacks, but somehow they've got three in this game. What's going on? I know they're 31 and 32. They better be careful, or they're going to be top 30 in the league. <laughs> so on now the field goal team for Philadelphia. This from 54 yards away. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Love now. Flushed out right. He's able to find Wallace. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Check, check, lucky, lucky, lucky. Here's a handoff out of the gun. He's got the first like down inside now. the 10. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. His 19th touchdown now on the season. And the Thunderbirds are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. I think we're sensing a trend here. Two first-half touchdowns. After going for two after the first score, CD, I thought maybe they would kick the PAT here. No, they get two more. No, they decided to really press the advantage because, remember, getting the two after the first score, you've already got the other team back on their heels if they're going to mount a comeback. But to go up two scores and two two-point conversions, you've really got them thinking on the other sideline. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. At his current pace, sure looks well in line for a 1,000-yard season, but some of the older folks watching that remember the 12-game seasons in the NFL probably say, man, it was a lot harder to do that back then. Yeah, even the 14-game seasons, and you know, when we talk to those veteran runners, some of those guys who wear gold jackets, right, and up here in Canton, they look at this and go, you know, it's kind of like going to school and taking five years to get your degree instead of just four. <laughs> a victory lap. Now, they also used to walk uphill to school both ways. In the know, snow. In the snow. Blizzards. Milk was five cents. <laughs> hey, but he's having a great year not to take anything away from him. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. First throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they'll get this down to the 10. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Throwing his hurts. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and goal from inside the five. 
From the gun, it's Hurts. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that trims the lead down to nine. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Flagged down. This could set him back. We're all right. Just call the call. We're going to play. Come on now. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. The Love's throw caught there by Wallace. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Love sliding out of the pocket. And he's got his big tight end here. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up the first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. That catch, good for only a couple. And CD, you know, this offense at 11-0 now on the year. A few weeks ago, I remember asking you what kind of percentage chance that you thought they had at staying unbeaten the entire season. I think you said 25%. I'd imagine that number probably grown since then. I would agree with you, and I'm going to actually bump it up to closer to 50%, only because they still have some tough games to come. And keeping that focus throughout the entire season, that's been a really difficult thing to pull off. But so far, they've done it, and they've done it well. Again, it's Love. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Love looking to throw it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Love. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Does the big boy have the juice? The 40. Pass the 20. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things definitely getting interesting around the NFL as we begin the month of December. So let's get right to it. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And lots of offense here. 24-14 the count at halftime. Two touchdown passes there for Teddy Ballgame. From there, let's head up to Cincinnati to check in on the Bengals at home at Paul Brown Stadium. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Joe Mixon, a couple of touchdown runs. Finally, let's get down to the Bayou. Check in on the Saints at home at the Caesars Superdome. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who are out in front. Adam Thielen, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? 
and find out. We give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of the defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. you just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Now a handoff here to his running back. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. Well, these two division rivals, the schedule maker gave them a couple of second half meetings this year. They met for the first time back in week 11. And it was the visitors getting the win there. So they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. 52 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,400 for the year. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Play fake. Here's Love. He'll buy some time right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, Love. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They're able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. Third quarter of a two-point game, a good one so far. Here's second and ten. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game-changer, but it falls incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Love. Touchdown! A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Thunderbirds take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and friendly partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. Behind the chain, second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. They get him that time thanks to the safety blitz as he sank for a loss of four. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Going to give this time to the tailback. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football. And the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And yeah, now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here. Not done in the fourth. Let's go. On first down, Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Looking to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. third down they'll run it with Sanders and he is going to have an Eagles first down at least it appears that way and he got it by maybe the length of a football a lot of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 they're going to look to throw this time for Smith and it's intercepted picked off at the 30 and they will take over at the 29 yard line and here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Oh. 
they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 101 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Thunderbirds add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory, riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. The third time wasn't a charm. They got the first two two-point tries. Still have the lead, but couldn't get the third. Okay, so they didn't get this one. But I have to ask you, what matchup are they seeing that they feel that confident to go for two so often? Yeah, we talk about this a lot, but it has to be something, you're right, that they saw all week, correct? Definitely game plan for Felt good about being aggressive and going for it. And right up until that one, they had gotten two for two. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And that's complete to Brown. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Complete. Smith has it. 
So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.